Today, I'm going to be playing the career of Ellie De La Cruz. This dude's taking the MLB by storm. Right now, he's a 21-year-old at 81 overall. So there's some serious hype behind Ellie De La Cruz. And over these next 10 to 12 seasons, we're going to be seeing if Ellie De La Cruz can live up to all of the hype. We're going to be keeping track of how many awards Ellie can win and how many World Series he can stack up. But there is a problem. Every three seasons, Ellie De La Cruz is going to have to spin from this wheel. And these are all the teams starting out that are going to be interested in Ellie De La Cruz. There's a lot of squads here because there's so many people that want to build around this young Young stud. But luckily, the Reds still have a gigantic chance to get him. Let's see what happens, though. Let's take a spin. Come on, Reds. I really want to start with us. Please, baby. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm really excited he's going to the Reds, but if the Reds or any team that Ellie De La Cruz ends up going to do not end up winning, he is going to lose interest in that squad. And eventually, other teams are going to start to draw his interest. So let's go ahead and get your one started and hope the guy can make a gigantic impact with these Reds. At the trade line right now, the Reds are 59 and 49. That Ellie De La Cruz hype is real right now. The dude is already sitting at an 85 overall by the way how we doing ellie come on not bad at all 18 doubles three triples 15 bombs hitting a 290 at the tread line i like it dude and the reds are only four games away from that top spot in the nl central since the reds are back in that postseason hunt they're not messing around going out getting sam brian abreu and lourdes guriel jr i need the second half to be crazy the end of year one and no the reds choked so bad 1882 we somehow finished below 500 after a great first half ellie had you do though Oh, and he didn't even get the rookie of the year. Are we serious right now? What happened? Corbin Carroll. All right, yeah, there was so many great rookies this year. Not a great first year, though, because we have zero awards and zero playoff appearances so far. Let's hope that year two is going to be a lot better because if not, he's going to start losing interest in the Reds. The jump from year one to year two for Ellie De La Cruz has been crazy, going from an 81 to an 87. But besides him, we added Eric Hosmer to the team. So I don't know what we're trying to do there. And Michael Taylor. Not at all what I had in mind, guys. Come on. Also got Michael Walker, Ken Maida and Chris Archer. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and see how this year goes. And real quick, if you guys are liking this video so far, please leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. We're getting so close to 100K. And also, if you guys have other players that you guys want to see on this series, comment that down below as well. Back at the trade line for year two, and we are still not great, but only four games out from the Cubs. But this is still good, though, because the Central can be taken easily. And luckily, the Reds, again, aren't going down without a fight. They went out and got some power from the Angels, getting Brandon Drury and Taylor Ward, and also going to the Blue Jays and getting Eric Lauer for the pitch staff we're still gonna need a miracle though in the second half to keep up boys this is not good 77 and 85 this is not the reds that ellie de la cruz is looking for how we look in 28 home runs 95 rbis and above a 300 bro 32 doubles seven triples 28 home runs the guy also stole 21 bags and only got caught stealing one time he's the star of the reds and he's 22 years old bro this is not gonna be good enough for ellie de la cruz and after a super disappointing end of year two ellie is starting to lose interest in the reds head into year three it looks like the Reds are at least trying to compete, going out and signing Tyler Glass now and Paul Goldschmidt. I respect what the Reds are trying to do, and they do look a lot better, I'll be honest, but I just don't know if it's going to be good enough. Let's check back at the trade line and let's hope for the best. There we go, year three. That's the Reds I was looking for. 87 and 75, taking our division. Unfortunately, it's not a hard division to win, so it's crazy that it took this long. How we doing, Ellie? Come on. Okay. Still a great year, but not necessarily Ellie De La Cruz level. Oh my gosh, though. Look at this. The double numbers and the triples 42 and 11 i like that quite a bit let's see how far these reds can get to though first up the marlins they got a fantastic pitching staff let's hope the hunter green nick Lodolo, and tyler glass now are gonna be good enough come on reds do it for me there we are facing the braves now in the nlds i am nervous about the braves because i know for a fact we are not better but again miracles happen in the postseason so let's see how we do real quick first three games and we're already down one two not great all right nick Lodolo, come back a little bit and we got destroyed three to eight come on bro after losing, we still got good news. Ellie's interest still went up for the Reds. Let's see what happens here. Where are we going to be going for the next three years? Come on, guys. Oh my gosh. No. Guys, we're actually dead. We're going to the Tigers. In a crazy turn of events, our career with the Reds is now over. The Reds got Riley Green, Jackson Job, and Sean for Ellie De La Cruz. That is so bad. Let's hope that Detroit's been building up a little bit, though. Okay. Never mind. They definitely have not been, dude. Come on. This, I know for a fact, is going to be a short stack. Here we go, Tigers. How the heck are we 52 and 58? Our boy Ellie better be pulling off like his best re Shohei Otani Mike Trout impression. Let's see. The guy's already down to a 96, so that's not good. But Ellie, how we doing? Not bad, but also not incredibly great either. I was expecting a lot better for us to be at 52 wins. Obviously, not enough because we are still going to suck, but still. And there they go. 70 92. That makes a lot more sense. Ellie finished off, of course, with a fantastic year 33 home runs, 103 RBIs, and a 314. Let's hope that we can at least 
least get an award though. Please just give something to us. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. Let's go, Ellie the Hank Aaron Award. Going to Ellie De La Cruz. We're adding that straight to the trophy case. Let's go, boy. He not only adds the Hank Aaron Award to that trophy case, but he also gets the Silver Slugger for the AL. Despite the record, Ellie had a fantastic first year in Detroit. Again, I just really hope we do not stay here for that long. You're touring the Tigers, and yo, we got an 18-year-old and a 21-year-old making the squad. Eduardo looks crazy too. If we could build this up, I would not mind that at all. Year two with the Tigers, a lot better. 81 and 81. Again, still not good, but for Tiger standards, I'm down. The only thing I hope is that we do not waste our prime with a team like the Tigers. During these years, we got to try to win World Series titles, not just random garbage. But for the batting title, Wander has going to wipe the floor with us 100%. Look at that. Come on. Ellie did great coming in third, but I feel like this is where he's going to be for a lot of this stuff. Again, batting title came in third. Hank Aaron Ward came in second place. Wander, come on. Come in second place for the gold glove too. Please tell me we at least got the silver slugger. There we go. That's another one. I'm still looking for that Ellie De La Cruz MVP though. We've officially hit the halfway point for Ellie De La Cruz so far. And my boy, just like we predicted, is tearing up baseball. Potentially the last year with the Tigers. Ellie, how we looking, baby? And oh my gosh, the Tigers actually upgraded a little bit. Eduardo's looking more like a beast. Again, Ellie's fantastic, but we got Bobby Witt Jr. joining the squad. How the heck do we swing this? In the Tigers 10 year three. Okay. Nope. He's gone. Ellie is completely gone. I got to see the awards though, as that is the fourth MVP for Juan Soto. But real quick, Ellie, please. Oh my gosh, he did it. A 325, 40 home runs and 111 RBIs. This dude is so special. We're also 38 doubles and 14 triples. He somehow keeps getting better. So add the MVP to the trophy case. I love that. Batting title, we got beat out by 0 0.001. All right, I'm depressed again. He did get the Hank Aaron Award though, so that's beautiful. So close to getting that gold glove. I really want one for him. And then Silver Slugger had to get it. There we go, of course. Back on the wheel, we got a couple new teams added. We got the Pirates coming in. And the Diamondbacks are also offering just a little bit of interest. Let's see where the heck Ellie De La Cruz is going next. Who the heck are we going to be going to? There's no shot, right? Oh my gosh, we're going to the Pirates. Pirates, how the heck are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. If we don't win everything, then I have no idea what the heck is happening. Ellie De La Cruz is joining a God Squad right here. Dude, I'll say it again. The Pirates are stupid. 109 and 53 with this team. Awards, I gotta see it. Ronald just goes completely crazy. 56 home runs. The batting title, Gunnar Henderson. Okay, Ellie, where the heck are you? Please tell me you're somewhere. Hank Aaron Ward, still nothing. Bro, where did he go? And he got no awards this year besides an all-star appearance. I don't really mind, though, if it means that we win a World Series. So, hey, come on. Let's beat these Mets real quick. Pirates versus the Mets. And we are all ready to one. There we go. Get one more, Luis, right here. There we are, baby. I don't see us time. Pirates versus the Cubs real quick. A gigantic interleague matchup real quick. Three games. How we doing? 2-1 again. Game four, Quinn Price versus Jordan. Won that one. And then Andrew Painter, our boy, versus Steve Nicholas. And there we are, baby. That's the World Series. Let's get it going right here, boys. Andrew, I need another great game out of you. There we are. Starting off hot. Logan Webb. Look at my boy versus Corbin Burns. Lost that, though. Not exactly great. David Prado versus Mike Soro. Okay, won that one though. Coming back quite a bit. Quint Price there 2 1. Make that 3 1. And then potentially our last game right here. Here we go. Ellie leading us off right here. That's a deep shot. I just don't know if that's going to go out. Unless the wind takes it. Oh my gosh, the wind took it. There we go. That's the one thing I love about Ellie De La Cruz as well. No matter where you pitch him, he can hit it to everywhere. Again, just like that. Up and outside again, going straight to left field. That's another bomb. Bow down, Ellie De La Cruz. Seventh home run of the postseason. My boy's still got 97 speed, by the way. And I'm just going to go ahead and test that Mariners catcher. You best believe that is so easy. There we go, pro. He can do everything. It's so good. For right now, it's 2 2. And we popped up a terrible pitch. Come on, baby. I'm, oh, okay. I don't know if I would steal that as he's gone. You do not have the De La Cruz legs. Let's just hope that Ellie can win it right there. That is a cutter. That is a meatball. Go! Yes, dude! Three home runs for Ellie De La Cruz in the World Series clincher. Pirates, get on my back, boys. We did it. Four for five, three home runs, three RBIs. If that doesn't give us the World Series MVP, then I think this game is broken. Awards, there we are. World Series MVP going to Ellie De La Cruz. Unfortunately, doesn't get the postseason, but still, the World Series, I love it. And just like that, we had two more things to the trophy case. Also, look how good he did last year. I didn't even check it. 52 doubles left. 
last year. Five triples, 33 home runs, and a 107. End of year two of the Pirates, and again, it is magical. 105 and 57. Awards, please. Come on. There we are, Ellie De La Cruz. Welcome back. The second MVP for his career. And another Hank Aaron Award, making that the third of his career. They got to give me the Silver Slugger, and there we are, dude. So good. 52 doubles, 11 triples again, 39 home runs, 109 RBIs with 37 stolen bases. And if it's not crazy enough, the guy's leading off. 109 RBIs as the leadoff dude. You do not see that ever, to be honest. I'm loving this Pirates team. Go versus the Cubs real quick for the NLDS. And we are 2-1. Okay, let's go. One more local web, please. There we are, baby. There we go. Versus the Giants right here in the CS. And we are again 2-1. Logan Webb, I need a good game out of you. There it is. And then David, come on. That, unfortunately, is not it. Andrew Painter, though. That's also not it. Come on. Let's relax here. Let's do what the Pirates do best. Let's clutch up. There we are. 6-5. to five. Jeez. World Series time now versus the Yankees. Of course. The first three games, I got to see it. And we are down 1-2. We cannot afford to lose this. Logan Webb, come back right here. There we are. 12-3. Set the tone. Andrew Painter versus George Kirby. Lost that. All right. We got a win out in Yankee Stadium. David Prado. There we are. One more. Game seven. And never mind. My fault. We're actually in Pittsburgh, which is perfect for us. Ellie, we need you more than ever right here, right now. This dude's clutch is so high as well. Look how gigantic the PCI is. And again, thank you for another meatball. What are we doing? An easy home run straight out to right field. And that is looking beautiful for us. One, two count. That's again, a beautiful pitch, but that's skied out the center. No big deal for Ellie De La Cruz though. 100% that's going straight through. What a beautiful piece of hitting right there. 10 runs right there. That should be the nail in the coffin. Runners in the corners, bottom of the eighth. Vladdy Guerrero Jr. up to bat. Come on, baby. And that's it. There we go, Vladdy. And just like that, the Pirates get us our second World Series ring. Come on, Ellie. O'Neal Cruz took it from us this time. We do get our first postseason MVP though, so I guess it's fine. The second World Series win for Ellie De La Cruz and the first postseason MVP. Here through the Pirates 88 and 74. What a fat difference. Awards though. No MVPs for Ellie De La Cruz. No batting title as the Reds finally got one. There we go. No Hank Aaron award. Okay. Do we at least get a silver slugger? And no, we didn't. Okay, guys, what happened? And when this is considered a down year, you know you got a great baseball player. Let's see what we do in the postseason though. Can we go three for three? Arizona up first. Already got that 2-1 and got that 3-1. There we are. Now versus the Padres as we are down 2-3. Ian, you need to have a miracle right here. You got an 8.6 ERA, but I don't care. And there we go. Oh my gosh, you actually did it. David Prado versus Jeff. Please, my boy, please get us that World Series. No, we finally lost. And the new wheel is looking very good as Ellie still wants to be with the Pirates. Let's hope that we can do good for these last three years. Ellie, come on. Where the heck are we going as it's not going to be the Pirates at all? Where the heck are we going, dude? No way it's going to be the Giants. And oh my gosh, it is. Let's try to get at least one more World Series win before Ellie is done. First year with the Giants, 84 and 78. How did that team finish that bad? Ellie by the way, got another silver slugger added. But my question still stands. Are we in the postseason? And we are not. This is the first time in so long we've missed the postseason. There we are, Giants. Finally came alive. 97-65. Gunnar Henderson did so good. Ellie again, 44 home runs, 144 RBIs, and a 310. Awards real quick. Ellie De La Cruz with his third MVP. Adding another Hank Aaron Award as well. And of course, you guys already know that silver slugger is coming home once again. I'm ready to bring San Francisco another ring now. So NLDS time versus the Rockies. Come on, baby, please. There we go. 2-1. Anderson, come on. Finish it off right here. And no, that is not what we need right here. Game five. Henry, please do something nuts. No, we choked the last two games by one run. Are you kidding me? And with the final season for Ellie De La Cruz, we lost to the Colorado Rockies. We legit lost in the wild card. How the heck do we do that? Awards real quick. Ellie won back-to-back -back MVPs. Please tell me with the 315, we actually got the batting title. Come on. I need this thing right here because if we do that... We'll complete the gauntlet. So come on, Ellie, please, baby, please, baby, please. Yes! With that batting title right there, we basically complete baseball. We also got another Hank Aaron Ward, so add that to the list. Now, please, gold glove. Let it happen right here, right now. No, Curtis Mead. And of course, we do get another silver slugger, though. All right, Giants, coming to the final year of Ellie De La Cruz. Do not mess me up. There we go, Giants. 94 and 68. We're going to be taking on the Pirates. Are you serious? Awards again. Unfortunately, Ellie De La Cruz could not go three straight. But how did my boy... Do as Nolan also stole the Hank Aaron award. Please tell me you got the gold glove that I was looking for, though. Come on, baby. Please, no. 
He hasn't won a single gold glove in his entire career. Didn't even get the silver slugger either. He's still putting in a great year, but wow. I need two great games out of our pitchers. Come on, baby. And we immediately got torched. Okay. Ellie had one of the greatest careers though, spending 13 years. But out of 2012 games, the guy's 2,375 hits, 555 doubles, 121 triples, 425 home runs, 1,354 RBIs, over 1,000 walks, 430 stolen bases, a career average 0.301, not to mention it ended off with a career war of 98.1. If the guy stopped playing today, he would make it to the Hall of Fame. For the trophy case, Ellie was a 12-time All-Star, five-time Hank Aaron Award winner, seven-time Silver Slugger, four-time MVP, one-time batting title winner, two-time World Series winner, one-time World Series MVP, and one-time postseason MVP. The actual GOAT, what else can I say? If you guys enjoyed this video, I know for a fact you'll love this one. And also, if you guys like this video, subscribe super quick. Come on.